Hi and welcome back to Quinn Mop Pod Creations tutorial videos and today I wanted to show a project I did um, was a challenge in my group. Yeah. I used some size zero Nymo beading thread and some Charlotte cut size 13 seed beads. Um, the flower of the month challenge was marigold. Uh, I photocopied a design off of the um, internet and made it small enough for an earring size. So I just put some backing on the photo paper. And so it's one of the projects that you, it looks better in your mind and when it comes out. So I kind of started in the center doing just a single bead, one bead at a time to start the center of the flower and finished it and using the shaded area would be where I placed the red beads and the plain area <clears throat> where I placed the yellow. <clears throat> Excuse me. No. I just kind of went around and put two, three beads at a time in the different petal areas on that flower. Really thought that it was going to come out looking nice. If it were done on a piece of, um, another piece like a coin purse or a bag or a medallion, it would could probably look better and you could make it resemble a marigold. But this small earring size wasn't quite ideal. So I just continued in filling in the red and yellow all throughout the flower. Um, just making sure I put in enough red and yellow. Um, but there were areas where there was more than two to three beads, uh, four to six. I used the one needle method and would come up and go through two beads just to give them, make them secure and stable. So uh, there were areas, petals that asked that were kind of longer than the others. And so just put as many beads as it took to fill that one area. So, um, the earring was just too small to want to deal with the two needle method. So just kind of get the colors to fit some way. Place them kind of in the direction that the shaded part of the picture, the direction that the shaded part went. And I just kind of followed that inside. Because okay, so I did the one needle when I needed to. And it was a longer area. <clears throat> I fell. It looked real nice when I started. <clears throat> um, but it's just one of those flowers that you can't tell what it is when you're doing it. But like I said, if it was done another piece, you might be able to show that it was a marigold. I did it back. I just did an outline of the flower in black, filling in spots because it was a random outside edge. Filled in black along the edge to go around. And kind of bring out the black and, I mean the red and yellow, sorry. Uh, filling in all the way around and um, so I could leave those random areas that were sticking out 
and leave them there to show the flower petals. And I, after that first line was done, then I repeated another black line around the outside so that I could cover the whole earring, the whole flower of the earring. So then the edging is the raised edging. So I put on six beads. When you cut the pellet off, off, you leave enough edge to be able to do the edging on. So you put the six beads on and you lay them down and you go down where the third bead lays. And that makes the beads form a little arch. And that gives it the raised. And then you put six more beads on. And you're going to come up in the middle of that arch. And then that you're going to come up through that arch and then you're going to go over and do the same. Go down where that third bead of those six you put on light. And it just continues to create another arch. And you'll come up through that arch. And that's giving it that raised effect. And then six beads at a time in whatever color you want to go all the way around your piece. To Usually that third bead lay area uh, spot is right next to the arch before, just so you have enough room to come back up through with your needle, and it has enough room for the next row of beads to fit inside that spot. And you continue. with those arches all the way around, making sure that you're leaving the room to come up through for the next row. And they're just gonna overlap. There. And once you get around all the way around, um, and you get to the edge and just kind of got to might have to maneuver the end the the last few rows so that it will fit and you, if it's just solid you won't have to worry about it but uh, because I have the three colors kind of got to fit them in there so there's no repeat of my colors To put on that last row, put on my six beads and we'll come up through that first arch. Go up through that arch without going through the Helen. You're going to come up through there and bring that row up. And then, then you're going to go down through. That makes that last arch bit snug underneath that first arch. And that just completes the whole edging all around the piece. 
And that is basically how your raised edge edging is done. And I just made the earring loop um, and then went back through to reinforce it so that it is stable for when you put the earring hoop into it. And then when I, after I go back through that loop, I go um, through that center so that my needle is in between the layers and come out. And finish that loop and then <clears throat> I go back up I go back into the leather and come up through the in this in the middle of the leather and the pelon so that you're in between the layers so when I tie my knot it buries in this kind of hidden in between those layers and I can't see it and snip it off and that is your raised edging like I said it was a project that it looked better in my mind when I was thinking about it than how it turned out but if you know what they are, you would enjoy them, I guess. But thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the raised edging demonstration. So come by and join my group. Be sure to answer all three questions where I won't add you. Or you can visit my website at www.quinwellpawcreations.com. See you next time. Bye.